Hello, my beautiful Cancers. Welcome to your weekly love forecast for April 10th to 16th. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to all my members. I really appreciate all of your support. If you would like to become a member, all you have to do is click the join button below. And if you would like a personal read with me, it's jenniferwalkerson.com or check out the description box below. You can check your moon, your rising, and your sun sign for more information. Feel free to cross watch. So we're gonna go over the day today and the overall. So if you guys like it this way, you want me to keep doing this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Let's jump right in. What's going on, my Cancer's Romantic Love Life for April 10th to 16th? What's going on, my Cancer's Romantic Love Life for April 10th to the 16th? What cards need to see? Show me the cards I need to see. What's going on, my Cancer's Romantic Love Life for April 10th to 16th? Cancer's Romantic Love Life, April 10th to 16th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What's going on, my Cancer's Romantic Love Life? for April 10th to 16th. Cancer's Romantic Love Life for April 10th to the 16th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So before I go into the day today, I wanna give you guys a message to see what's going on for this week that you don't know that you need to know. That this could be anything, it doesn't have to be love. It could be anything you turned on this video for, anything spirit wants you to know. So let's find out. What does cancers need to know this week that they don't know that they need to know that can help them with their situation this week? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so we have success. Oh, nice card. And we have, okay, two cards. Actually, a couple cards want to come out. Let's see. All right, so we got community, which was the next card in line here. And we have blessings. Wow, okay. Give me a second to tune in here. I feel like you guys are going to have a lot of growth. Uh, I do feel like you're going to be able to follow your passions. I feel like there's going to be a lot of change with people around you and you'll see that change. Uh, it'll be revealed to you. And I do feel like it's just, you just need to enjoy the moment and have that sense that know that you have a blessed situation here. Um, I also feel like you guys have a lot of choices and options here also. When it comes to your blessings, there is a lot of growth here. And I do feel like if you hang in there, um, yes, you're not having that communication right now, but you will receive that communication. You'll see the sign. It may come through other people here. Okay, so if I look at the cards themselves, it's saying success because of community or working together towards these blessings. All right, so take that out, however that resonated with you. All right, so on the 10th, we see the temperance card energy. The temperance card energy speaks of patience. So there's a patient energy, why? Because we see that there's the sun and the moon there and the person's trying to bring those things into balance. And we see that what's going on here, the reason why this patient energy is here because something is an equal give and take is because there's some things uh, pertaining to the past possibly for some of you or some unhealthy attachments and cycles that need to be broken, need to be cut away and cut out. And we see it's because of something to do with loyalty and friendliness here with the doll card energy. So there is a person that is there's issues around loyalty on this day or friendliness and this patient energy because you're like, all right, I need to, you know, cut away these unhealthy attachments that I have. I need to make some kind of decision. Side card energy for me represents making some kind of decision. So let's see, let's keep going here. On the 11th, it looks like you guys have been, are going to take some time out for yourselves to kind of reveal some things and like kind of look within and kind of examine things, self-examine things with the isolation card. And I feel like the reason why that is, is because it's about starting a family here with the Empress card or focus on love and abundance here with the Empress card energy. Cause you're just like, I don't want to keep going around in circles here. That's what I feel like on this day. It's like this loyalty or this friendliness or this friend is kind of like having you feel like I'm going around in circles. I keep going around in circles and I got to be patient here when it comes to starting a family or this love, this abundance, or for some of you, there could be a motherly energy involved with the Empress card energy. So it's like, you're like, I want to cut away these, this isolation and separation here. Yeah, because there is obsessions here, strong desires and attachments around this connection. 
And it's like, it's almost like, oh my God, I'm gonna miss some kind of opportunity here with the Four of Cups energy because someone's not being honest with the Fox card energy. Or for some of you, because there's all these obsessive kind of energies, a strong attachment that may not feel exactly healthy, you're like, whatever's being offered from this person, I don't want, you know? And then I, I need to be honest with them because I feel like I'm going around in circles here with them. Okay, that's for some of you. So that was the 10th, 11th, and the 12th. And we see here there's patience and starting a family because of a sense of a missed opportunity or not wanting a missed opportunity or what's being offered at this time you don't want. There's a sense of loyalty, friendship, and I'm going around in circles and maybe they're not being honest or maybe I need to be honest with them about the situation. Nine is there's desires, thinking, contemplating about a change. So what's gonna happen here in the 13th? Book card energy. Book card energy for me speaks of secrets or gaining knowledge or using your intuition here. About this opportunity of true love, new love, okay. We got some true love coming up here and, and then we got the stork card energy, which stork brings home the babies and we see that above that is the empress card energy. So there's changes, improvements or migration, changing from one location to another location and trying to gain knowledge about this opportunity of true love if I mirror this card, it's like, I don't want to keep going around in circles here. Is this opportunity of love truly going to give me a situation where we can start a family? Because I'm isolating myself to do this really deep, heavy soul searching to gain knowledge here about this. Okay, so let's keep going here. What's going to happen on the 14th? Wow, they're missing you. They long for your embrace once again, okay? So every time you're not around this person, this person is thinking about you and they long to be with you because they're missing you. And it looks like they could be traveling towards you, charging towards you, taking the rings. They want to be victorious here with the cherry card energy. And it looks like you're going to hear from them here. We see the letter card energy and some kind of truth. They're going to reveal these truths here in this letter about the fact that they're missing you. Oh, wow, that's going to take place on the 14th, guys. Yes, you know I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. Yes, so they're going to be coming at you, charging at you. They want to be victorious here. You're going to hear from them. They're going to reveal this truth about the fact that they miss you. Yeah, through a letter, a message, a text message, a Facebook message. Wow, okay, let's keep going here. Wow, there is complete love for you guys with the Ten of Cups energy because this person is longing for you. Three of Swords energy, they have this heartache and this person is coming out. Yep, you're gonna get the letter message from this person because they want to be victorious when it comes to heartache here and they miss you and they want the sense of happiness here. Okay, on the 16th, there's love and romance and wise decisions when it comes to love and romance. Oh my God, you guys are going to have a sense of accomplishment and completion here with the world card energy. Again, another travel card for some of you, maybe dealing with a long distance relationship. And look at that. There's a lot of emotions at play here with the fish card energy. There's movement here. Yeah, this person's going to share their emotions with you. Wow. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. You know I want to hear from you guys. And we see love here. I feel like you guys are uncertain whether or not this person wants to start a family though. And it's like you're, you're, you're trying to be patient because you feel like something's not an equal give and take. And you're like, am I going to miss an opportunity here? Is this person being honest with me? There's a lot of uh, strong desires around this connection. And you're like, all right, I need to make wise choices and wise decisions when it comes to love and romance because I'm ready for it to take this from one level of commitment to another level of commitment with my emotions here. There's a lot of emotions at play, a lot of thinking, contemplating, analyzing about this. Yeah, they're going to reveal this truth to you. Wow. Okay, so they're going to reveal this to you. Okay, about their emotions and what's going on here, about they miss you. You, they long for you, you make them happy. And look at that, that world card energy for me speaks of, I wanna take this from one level of commitment to another level of commitment. Oh my goodness. Okay, what's the influence here this week? There is this confusion. Huh, there is the motherly energy. There's the queen of pentacles and where we got the empress card energy. And what did I say about starting a family, right? This sense of the store card energy was there. Although we don't see the child card energy, but the Empress can talk about a motherly energy, uh, starting a family, and then the store can talk about bringing home the babies. Okay, so, mm, okay, so we see Queen of Pentacles. What do I want to do on the long term basis here? We look at the fact that going out, right? Garden card represents people, it represents family, friends. So it's like confusion about this because, all right, I need to figure out what I want to do on a long-term basis. I need to make some kind of choice here to be patient to figure out what I want on a long-term basis. Okay, how does your love interest feel about you? 
They feel like they want a commitment, engagement, or marriage, okay? And you know what? They want to move past these challenges that you guys have been dealing with, and they want to move into calmer water. And look at that. They want to talk and speak with you about this. There is the, again, this person really wants to communicate with you here. They want to have a conversation about this. All right, so what's your advice? Your advice is to make an effort here because great love is worth taking the steps you guys to take. And things are going to move in your favor. Luck is on your side. You just need to gain clarity here with the clouds card energy coming out. Yeah, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take here. Things can move in your favor. You just need to gain clarity. Six is saying healing, recovery, and love. All right, let's see the overall outcome here. What's going on here this week is just this uncertainty. Is there a real romantic connection? And then, you know, can we go out? Let's socialize. Or looking at your options here, right? Because also the socializing card could be saying, you know what, is this the best choice for me? Because like what they're offering me, I'm not accepting here. And we see you go through a transformational change here because of this revealing of this truth, revealing about what's going on here. And this really shocks and surprises you. It really gives you a breakthrough here. And then we see that, yeah, you've been confused about what you wanted here, but you know what? They're, they took charge of the situation and it gave you this victory, six of wands energy, or they, cause they took charge of the situation cause they wanted a victory with you, but it did definitely changed things in the situation. We see that there's a sense of accomplishment, a sense of completion. They're revealing these things about their emotions. Wow, Cancer, I love you guys so much. If you guys like that, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Yes, I wanna hear from you guys. So yes, let me know in the comments below. Also, you can get more information from your monthlies, which are up and available right now, and the bi-weeklies, which are available right now. I will be releasing What Does Your Love Venture Secretly Want to Tell You in the next day or two, so stay tuned for that. Thank you to my members. Have a great rest of your week, and I will see you guys soon.